Hello! Welcome back to Fly Violin Channel! And today I don't I don't have class but I still have so many busy schedule because as I mentioned to you in the first episode that I've been living in Canada for a couple weeks and today I'm going to get my SIM number and do you know what SIM number is? If not, don't worry, I will give you some important information about it later. And shall we go? Hello, I'm Fly. In the morning, I went to BC service to apply for my SIM number. And all of you have to bring your original passport, your study permit, and there are any documents that can prove your current address. And if you are ready, let's go! Okay guys, I'm on the way to Maybridge office and it takes about 15 minutes from the bus station to the office and let's go together. Let's go. Alright, when I arrive in the office, I have to wait outside of the building for about 45 minutes. But I think it depends on where you are going to. And during the time, actually, I don't have any ideas what I have to do. So, I practiced my group presentation skill on this Friday. <sighs> but a few minutes later, the staff called me to enter the building. But before entering the building, you are required to wear masks all the time. And after that, you will get a piece of paper to fill in your personal information. And then you have to wait until the staff call you. And then you just submit all of your document. And when everything is ready, you will receive a piece of paper that shows your SIM number. And I think that for the process of uh, submit your document just for 10 or 15 minutes and then everything will be done.
got from Walmart. This is great onion, garlic, and lemon. But if you apply in online, you have to wait at least two weeks because in my case, actually, actually, I apply my SIN number since I arrived in Canada, maybe first week, but now it's 10th day, I didn't get any paper or any update from SIN numbers. That's why I've changed my mind to go to the office in the morning and yeah nothing different because i asked the staff that no matter you apply in online or in person you still receive the same sim number okay mm -hmm. and that's it but if some of you are interested in applying online don't worry because i'm going to show you to to show you how to apply in online and are you ready if you are ready, let's go! I'm going to show you about how to apply SIN number online. It's very easy. Just search for SIN number. Mm -hmm. And then click on the first one. The first website that appear on the screen. And this is the first page that you will see when you start the process just scroll down if you didn't want to scroll down just click on apply mm -hmm. and then you have to answer the questions if you are applying for yourself just click on the first one and then you have to check and choose your status in canada if you are a student like me just click on the third one you are a temporary resident mm -hmm. and then there are three options for you online by mail or in person and we have to click online mm -hmm. and this session shows you about any documents that you have to prepare i suggest you have to uh, prepare all of these documents first because you will have 45 minutes to complete the, ap the application. Mm -hmm. And the first one is primary identity document. Just carry your study permit. That's it. Just carry your study permit. And then secondary document, just carry your passport, your current passport. And the last one is proof of address what it means is that you can carry a, you can carry any document that can prove your address and then if you are ready if you finish preparing any documents just click on the green button apply online mm -hmm. and then terms and conditions of use just go down and then tick I will get to the terms and conditions of use. And then next. Alright, before you start filling any information, you have to be careful that you have 45 minutes to complete this application. But you have to choose which type that you are going to apply. Of course, we have to click on the first one. And as you can see from the screen, just fill in your personal information. Start from your first given name, followed by your 
given names like your previous name, and then your family names, your date of birth, year, month, and day, your telephone number, your genders, your birthplace, and then your mailing address. But if you look at the other side, you will see that you have to fill in your family information, your family name at birth, other family names. And then this is your applicant's parent. What it means? It means uh, your father and mother information, just their given name and their family name at birth. And that's it for parents information. And then for the status section, you have to choose yeah, we are temporary resident and you have to click on your primary identity document. We are a student. Of course, our document is study permit. And then you have to fill in our expire date of your study permit. And if this is the first time for you, you have to click on no. But if you have still have one, already just click on yes and that's it before you submit your application you have to check that you fill in all information and all of them are, are correct if you are sure and ready just click i have read the privacy statement and then next and that's it this is all the process of uh, applying in online and thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my channel. Ploy, ploy, Marine.